Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we look at a video I found on NC Tyrant Hunter's channel today. However, NC Tyrant Hunter does not provide any context to the video whatsoever. So, no link, no st other story, nothing. Only what we see on the video. And it still doesn't look good for the frauditor in the video. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because you what? cannot... What? I you cannot are what? causing a scene, no, and you're no. causing a disturbance. No, I asked those ladies to do That's their job. That's all I'm saying. Now, go no, ahead and get no, out. No, 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 no. You can't keep me out of a public place. Sir, I'm no, you can't. You no, you can't. It's for the the last last time. Time. Oh, yes, you can't be trespassing public property. And you, it is considered to be a second-degree trespassing charge if you do not comply with the the owner or the person in charge of the property if they ask you to leave. But in this video, we do not see that, but given that it's not the whole video, you may have been asked to leave, and we just didn't see it. And given that you have a nasty attitude throughout this video, plus the fact that you think being a First Amendment auditor grants you special privileges, I would say that you were asked to leave. You put your hands on building. me, and you will now, lose either your you immunity. Leave, you, you got hear me? choices. Oh, I got no choices. You got choices. Either no, you no. leave on your own, no. or I will you call your supervisor. You call the police. You call your supervisor. Joel, I uh, need your assistance because I'm putting this guy out, and I'm going to have the police come get him. You call him. You call him. That's what you're going now, to do. Either you, you call. Your now, either you you give me six feet. By your policy, you give me six feet. Leave on your own. Give me six feet. Or you get a, give me sir, six feet. No, I'm standing. I'm standing straight stop up. Aggressing you me. can't push it to me. Stop aggressing. Don't get. Look how close he is, you, people. If you aggress me one no, more no, time, no, I'm not aggressing you. Nothing. I'm gonna handcuff you. Handcuff me, motherfucker. That's if what you, you're going to do. If you handcuff me, get out. No. So no, I can't you cannot you me. No, you can't. I can't. You can't touch me. I can't. You can't touch me. Yes, I'm in a I can. publicly accessible you area. You can't Sir, touch me. If what I law? What law have I? Time, what law have I, I broken? You out. What law have I broken? Joel, I'm getting ready to handcuff and escort out the building. Escort me, buddy. I tell you, you touch me, I and I'll have your immunity now, right boy. now. Call. Call 911. Now, either you leave No, 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 no. I'm not leaving. Choices. This is a public... You can leave no, no, no. or you, I help you, you leave. Can't, you can't kick me out of a public place. Either you leave or I help no. you leave. No, do you know who I am? I don't care. I'm, a, I'm an auditor. I don't care. I'm, you can't touch me, care. buddy. You can't touch me. I don't... <laughs> you serious? And there we have it. This special snowflake seems to have gotten into his head that there that there are such things as First Amendment auditors and that they have special rights and privileges above everybody else. Who told him this? Care who you are. You can't touch me. Either you leave or I help you. No, you, you can't touch me. You put your hands on me right now and I tell you you will lose your qualified immunity right now. Either you leave or I help you. You want to lose your qualified immunity? Leave or I help you. Do you want to lose your qualified uh, immunity? Uh, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead under the cover of the law. Go leave ahead, and I will. You. No, no, you're fucking Lame my second. First Amendment, my Fourth Amendment, uh, my Fifth you, Amendment. You can, you can hey, no, 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 no. I don't care. What's I don't okay? care. Problem. I don't care. He, it's his man he, right he, here. He didn't want to give them information to cue him in. And I gave him my no. I gave him my information. I told him who I was and what I was here for. That's all they need so, to know. They don't know, need to know my birthday. They don't need to know my phone number. That's dude, policy. It's not law. Dude, you were at the Department of Social Services when this went down. If you were requiring any sort of assistance, you were going to have to give them that information, just as part of the process. And to even get in contact with you later on to notify you about the status of benefits or anything that you applied to while you were in the Department of Social Services. Just give them the information. It'll make it a lot easier for you. I mean, none of your rights are being violated. Quit acting like a baby. 
I don't care. You know, you can touch me, you touch me, and you lose your immunity. Listen to me. No, I'm talking to this man right here. You're going to be escorted out by the police in just a minute. Go ahead, get him. Get him. That's what you do. No, no, you ain't touching me, buddy. I guarantee you that. You will pay me your everything you got. Take him out there. Take him. Stake him. Because he's not going to go willingly. He's how do you want me to write this up? Disturbing the peace is the second offense. What's the first offense? No, 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 no. Out of the door. No, all right. No, no. You will lose your qualified immunity. You touch me, and you will lose. I guarantee you that. Okay, I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. You see this? You see? Oh, oh. You can't see me out of a publicly accessible building, buddy. Oh, you push me over that edge and you're dead in the fucker. You push me over Did that. Did you just threaten me? You just push Did me you? Did you tell him he cannot take me out of a public accessible area? Well, the, did you tell him he cannot touch me? Did you tell him that? I wasn't did here. You, uh, doesn't, I got on film. The man touched me, grabbed me, okay. threw me over here, threw me into this door, okay. and then turned around and no had me that. over the edge. Sir, listen real quick. I don't... You can't come in here acting like that. So, you can't, if you want to come back another time when you've had time to calm down. No, 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 no. Let me, no, let me, no, 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 no. Let me explain something to you real quick. Can you step out here so people will listen? That's what I record. Okay, number one is, you don't need, those people up there do not need to know my birthday. They don't need to know my phone number. All they need to know is my name and who I am here, here to see. Period. That's it. According to your own policy. I'm going to need you to back up. Okay, you okay? I'll back up. Thank you. Thank you. Number two is I explained to him who I was, who I was here to see. I was here to see Miss S. Smith. I talked to her yesterday on the phone. She said to come in, tell the people at the front desk who I am, and they will call her and have her brought. She will come out and see me. Okay. What's so hard about that? I came here this morning. I gave her my name. I told her you need to call this lady because I'm not on the list to see her, but she's going to come out here and talk to me. And all of a sudden they want to do it. And then this guy gets behind me and says, oh, you can't do your... Wait a second. That's a publicly accessible building. You and you and... I need your uh, name and phone number, uh, name and badge number, sir. Okay. I need it now. Okay. Officer Williams. You guys can go back in. Thank you. Yep. Your name and badge number? Detective Miller, 556. <laughs> all right. I need her name and her uh, account number since she's a public official. And I need his name and his badge number because he's a public official. I need those two. Okay. If he comes up, he better stay right there or I'll get his name and That's fine. I need your name and your badge number, I'll please. You, sir. Okay. Right now, sir, okay. I asked for They've it. asked for you not to be back on the property today. I asked you for your name and your number, sir. Officer Otten, 842. Thank you. Now. Here's your glasses. Okay. Now, I'm going to press charge against that man for okay. throwing me against this wall, busting my head up against that, and threatening to throw me over the edge. Okay. I want him arrested. I got it right here on film. Okay. So the way that works is you would go down to the master's office. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I'll go around, I'll walk all the way around, and I'll get I, my I, car. I can, I can explain to you down here off the property. You can tell me right here, there's a publicly accessible well, since, sidewalk. Since the property owner wants you off this the is property. No, 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 this is owned by the city. And right. owned by the city, okay, so, okay, so, who owns the city? The taxpayer. This right. is a public sidewalk. You can't come make on. me get off a public sidewalk. Come on. No, no, I ain't going this nowhere. Is not a public sidewalk. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. Is it accessible because. to that that building right there? Is it accessible to a... To a uh, um, which word I'm going to say, uh, publicly accessible lobby? So Is that not a publicly sir, accessible lobby? Is that, sidewalk, is that not this, a public sidewalk? This, this is a public okay. sidewalk. This, this is, is part of entrance. the building. This is part of the building. Right. And, and this is part of the sidewalk. No, you they can't. You can't trespass somebody off of it. 
You're trying to get me there. off, you on, know. On there, that's fine. You can this is the same thing. Look, it goes around, comes up the steps, and comes this on is, up. This, this is, is considered right, a stop, sidewalk. Stop, 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 sir. They're city officials. We're city officials. This is city property, and we're asking you to leave city you can't, property. You can't leave. Yes, you we can't can do that. You leave city uh, check your law. I want your sergeant here. I want sergeant's just, right there. Okay. We we're asking you to leave no, city no. property. We're city agents. Sergeant, we did speak this, man. You cannot kick somebody off of public property, especially when they have committed no crime. No crime. You guys better look it up. Better look it up. I'm telling you right now. It's like being trapped in an echo chamber with these guys. It's the same thing over and over again. Of course you can be trespassed without being charged with the crime. And given from what's been shown so far, it seems like you could have been a major pain in the ass in there and they asked you to leave. Then there's that special status with First Amendment auditors you think you have. Like, that gives you some special power to not be arrested or anything like that. There's no such thing as a First Amendment auditor job, and they don't have special privileges. So what supposedly happened in there that they wanted you gone? I came in, I called a lady yesterday, yeah. and she said, come in, tell the people at the front desk who you are, Tell them to call me and I'll come out and see you. Okay. I'm not on a list for appointment. appointment. No. Yeah. So I tell them who I was. I said, you need to call S. Smith. Or, yeah, S. Smith is her name. And have her come out here. This is what she told me to do. Well, we need all this information. Well, you don't need no information from me. That's not the policy. Okay, that's not so, the law. So they were asking you for information. You they, 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 they don't need to know. That's like me asking you for your, uh, uh, your give me your driver's license. You see what I'm saying? You, those so, two ladies at the front desk, according to their policy and according to the law, they don't need that information. All they need to do is know who I was, what I was there for, and help me out. Okay. Okay. And they didn't do it. And then that the security officer, that security officer grabbed me. I'm talking. He body threw me into this door, yeah. pushed me way over this way, almost caused me to fall over. That man lost his qualified immunity. I'll tell you that right now. My first, my fourth, and my fifth amendment have been messed up because of that man right there. Well, seeing as how you're just a jackass with a camera and not a member of the press, your first amendment was not violated in the first place. And seeing as how you're being allowed to talk, that clearly wasn't a violated either. Now, your Fourth Amendment right wasn't violated either because they weren't seizing any of your property and asking for that information is quite reasonable and it wasn't a violation of the fifth amendment rights either considering you were not in a criminal case and they weren't trying to deprive you of life liberty or property i mean come on now and and now we're going into federal lawsuit because they are denying me public access public access to that building you want me to keep on going further i know the law I'm a First Amendment auditor, you can't do this. There he goes again, thinking that he's special because he's a First Amendment auditor. Sir, you are nothing. They can't do that. Their policy does not override my constitutional rights. So, so they know so about it. No, it's no, 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 no. You know, they are wrong. You guys are wrong. And I'm right. Now you go in there. And you tell them, I want to see Miss Smith, and I'll conduct my business. I'm not coming back. So, uh, no, I'm not going to tell Miss Smith that, or the people that. See, they... look, 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 look. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not talking. I'm not talking. Okay. I'm not talking. Well, who's saying about that? Are you seeking health care or something like that? Or this was Hey, sir, I'm Sergeant Wilson with Jackson Police Department. Badge number? What's that? Badge number? 600. All right. Okay. So, from the information I'm collecting, okay, is that you came in, okay, provided the limited information to the employees at the help desk. Mm -hmm. And when they couldn't assist you as far as where you needed to go. What do you mean assist you, me? You started to... What do you mean assist me? Them and start no, no. What do you mean by assist me? What do those ladies 
say I did that caused them not to be able to call S. Smith on the phone and have her come out to oh, see really? me. And her name is S. Smith. Cyana or whatever I can't pronounce what, the first name. Does she work? Uh, Medicare. And they name? Medicare and they know it. I told them five times my name, who I was there to see, and what the lady told me on the phone to do yesterday. Okay. And these people denied me service. You better go in there because I'm fixing to own you guys. Say what now? I you need to go in there and explain to them that they can't kick me out of a publicly accessible area. Well, according to NC Tyrant Hunter, this is the part where his cell phone died, so there's no more video. But what a massive, entitled snowflake this dude is. I know guys like him, and they always get kicked out of public situations like this, because it's in their nature to be belligerent jackasses. It has nothing to do with the Constitution. It only has to do with their own mental deficiencies.